Hello, so welcome to this next video. AI over the last year has been blowing my mind and I've had quite a few holy blender moments. And today is no different. I was browsing Photoshop and I heard about this new generative fill feature in the beta. And I thought it looked pretty good, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And I had another holy sh blender moment. So I thought I'd better make a new video to show you all how this works. So if you've seen our channel, we've created a masterclass to make this 3D render. And I thought, okay, let's give Genitor a fill a test and see if I could just add a dog. And it added a dog. It's so good. So if I zoom in, we can see this dog that it created. And when I saw this, I just, I, my mind was blown. I thought, holy moly. Generally, animals in 3D renders, uh, they always look a bit funny or, or you have to get some really good ones where the fur looks very realistic for it to look really good. So I always resort to trying to add one in post, try to get, try to get an actual photograph of one and then use that photograph. But it's always a bit funny. It's always a bit hard, obviously, to comp in and make it look realistic. But that problem's solved now. So we can add animals or anything. So it gives you three options. I thought this one was almost there. This one's obviously absolutely perfect. This one looks a little bit sick. Look at his little face. Uh, so this one, yeah, I couldn't believe it. So it fills it in, it makes a new layer for you and it just, it just works. So this is another render which I, which I recently worked on. It's the last one I worked on. And we just have a sale on at iMesh if anyone wants to get some discounts. But this is the last render I worked on, so I wanted to see if it could do a good job with this too. So I thought, again, the same theme, I just want to add a cat. So if I just want to draw a box here, and then if I just take, just type a cat curled up, curled up. See if it can create a cat. Okay, so now it's given me three options. And I think this one, that one looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, just look at the colors. So the, I've only got blue and pink lights in this scene. And look at it making blue and pink lighting on these animals. But I don't think that's quite right, so I'm just gonna click, click generate again and it'll make some more options. Okay, that one looks a bit sick. This one looks quite nice. And this one is perfect. Like, just the, color, the colors, if it, it fits, you can imagine, you know, let's say you're not 100% okay with that cat, just click generate again. Just keep generating until you've got the perfect cat. But holy moly, so that's crazy. And you know what else I've forgotten in this scene? I've forgotten a giant mug. So I think that it takes into consideration the size of the selection. So I want a mug about this size, and I'm just gonna type a mug. And we can just add a new mug to this table. And there we go, a giant mug. That's perfect. Wow, this one, that's great. That's exactly what I was looking for. So compositing your 3D renders is never gonna be the same ever again. I am absolutely blown away. I'm gonna show you one more example, then I'm gonna show you how I installed it and some problem you might have. So this is another tutorial on iMesh. I'd recommend you check that out, of course. Um, and this one involves a lot of compositing. So I believe everything from this tree line backwards is not real. So I got some some birds and I composited them in. Um, I had to find a picture online and then add them in. And so I thought, well, can this do the birds? So let's add a selection here and type small birds flying in the distance. And we'll see if that will create some birds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. They, they fit, they fit the same color as the other birds so well. Okay, that's, am that's amazing. Okay, you know what else I forgot in this 3D render? I forgot to add some more, um, some more bl branches. So, black tree branches. Oh, God. Damn it. Wow. Just. <laughs> like they're the same type of leaf 
as these ones. All right. Well, you know what else I forgot? This person should be wearing a crown. Do I have to type what's there already? Or can I just say a person wearing a crown? Oh, it made a, it made a mini person adding a crown. Okay, I'm just gonna type a uh, crown and if you'll add it to this, uh, this head. Okay, oh, wow. This one, it's even got the like, depth of feel. Okay, you could probably like edit these bits out. So if I just, I don't think these balls work because they look like they're floating. So if I just remove these. <laughs> Here we go. What the heck is going on? Um, all right, let's add a, let's add a hot air balloon. A small hot air balloon in the distance. Alright. I mean, <laughs> this is great. I... F compositing is never going to be the same again. This... is... <laughs> I have no more words. Anyway, that's the tutorial. Um, it was just to show you me blowing my mind for five minutes. Um, to install it, you want to go to uh, Creative Cloud, and then if you go to on the left-hand side, there should be one called Beta Apps, and then here you should have you should see Photoshop Beta, um, and then you just want to install that one. It should be the l the latest version should work. Um, but I did hear that some people have the generative fill grayed out. And I found that there is a post online about that exact problem and it involves things such as updating your date of birth on Behance. Um, so if you, if you don't quite get that option, just check that or check this whole page because there's quite a lot of people talking about that same thing. And then you should be able to just add, add whatever you want. Like for example, a dirt bike leaning against the wall. It's a little bit big. Let's just make it a bit smaller. It should be like this big. A dirt bike leaning against against the wall. All right, this one is a bit. This one a little bit janky, uh, but but still, I I mean, yeah. Uh, so thank you for watching. P give this a try. This is the start of something really really big. So. Uh, Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. And yeah, if you if you are watching this video um, before the end of this week or in like five days, we do have a sale on. You get 1,700 ArcViz assets for only $89, which is uh, probably one of the best ArcViz packs you can probably buy right now. So check that out. Otherwise, yeah, have a great day and hopefully you blow your mind as well.